the country's first science film festival Rashtra Vigyan Chalchitra Mela was organized during the 98th Indian Science Congress held in Chennai. The idea of organizing science film festival was initiated by Vigyan Prasar and Jahangirabad Media Institute, Tamil Nadu Science Forum and Indian Science Congress Association provided the necessary help. The Science Film Festival was inaugurated on 4th January 2011 by Gohar Raza, a science film maker, a scientist and a jury member. Anuj Sinha, director of Vigyan Prasar was also present on the occasion. The film festival was attended by enthusiast film makers, producers, delegates and science communicators. Rashtra Vigyan Chalchitra Mela was organized to felicitate, recognize and encourage science film makers. The competitive section attracted outstanding science and technology related video films produced in the country. Films from abroad were included in non-competitive section. It has set new benchmark for excellence in the country. Earthquakes, tsunami and volcanoes. Ever wondered how much we actually know about what we call acts of God? During the first three days, selected science films were screened for delegates and participants of the Indian Science Congress. We hear a lot about stem cells these days. It's become a specialised cell. On the second day of the event, selected filmmakers and producers were invited to share their experiences. All the shortlisted films were screened on the third day of the festival. My basic understanding over the last 21 years in this field is that we are in a world driven by uh, the market. And the market, the commercial market believes that there is no viewer for science and technology and information based programming. <coughs> I think this is the biggest challenge that exists in our country where the entire marketing, the commercial department, the people who get the ad revenues, they all believe that there are no viewers. On 7th January, award presentation ceremony was organized. Prominent filmmaker Shri Adur Gopalakrishnan presented the awards. I heartily welcome you all to this final session of the Rashtriya Vigyan Chalchitra Mela. Films that not only influence career choices, but they also help in improving knowledge, attitude, awareness and behavior ensuring that the society by and large becomes more rational, is able to take decisions based on informed choices. I must congratulate the Department of Science and Technology in a general way and Shri Anwar Sinhaji and his team of Sri Vigyan Prasad. You people are still doing a wonderful job. It has started in Chennai, but I think it will continue for years to come and I am sure that it will assume dimension of a movement in the country. I think uh, cinema is the most scientific art that man has invented. It is the most recent and, and, and it is the most potent of all the arts, in its reach, in its effect, in its faculties. For the popular science film category, Golden Beaver Award was presented to Bahari Dunya Ke Ajab Sanket, Durbin Ke Char So Sal won the Silver Beaver Award and Butterflies was awarded with the Bronze Beaver. The 
Golden Beaver Award for Short Film on Science and Technology goes to in the second category of short films on science and technology film action reaction won the golden beaver award and silver and bronze beaver were awarded to and all around us and beyond bicycle poopy 2 won golden beaver award in animation and graphics film category about 10350 delegates registered for the 98th session of the indian science congress held at chennai besides plenary sessions there were 14 parallel sectional sessions these sectional sessions focused on different scientific disciplines in all about 600 research papers were presented and discussed by the delegates This is Dr. Shongita Mazumdar. I am going to present uh, the topic, which is entitled "Amelioration of Arsenic-Induced Toxicity by Dietary Phosphate." After the day's hectic intellectual and scholarly discussion, delegate scientists looked forward to cultural program. It was time to unwind. Valedictory session started in the evening at 5:30 p.m. A special address was delivered by Dr. Pachamuttu. As the chief patron of the 98 Indian Science Congress Association and Chancellor of SRM University, I consider it a great honor to deliver the valedictory address of the 98 Indian Science Congress held at SRM University, Tamil Nadu. as we at srm celebrate the silver jubilee of our service to cause the higher education it is befitting that srm university has successfully hosted the 98th indian science congress outgoing general president professor k c pande summed up the experience of the past this event at srm university it is something unique in the sense for say the first time if i am not wrong in the history of science congress we have enrolled delegates more than 10400 <laughs> this is not say an ordinary thing we can imagine from say kanya kumari to kashmir delegates have come and in such a large number niskia team also talked to newly elected president professor geeta bali how science and technology can help women to perform better to contribute for nation building so we want to make recommendations after the deliberations this is the very purpose of our uh, my science congress the 98th indian science congress ended and the delegates have started going back with a hope to assemble once again next year <laughs>